Hello YouTube, Joe here. Today we'll talk about router bit bearings. What do you guys do when yours get a little dodgy? Alright, some of them spin real nice and well then there are those that are, well, a bit cranky and don't want to turn it all. Oh, this one's really notchy. Alright, now there are a lot of guys out there that say, well, why don't you just take it off, throw it out and put a new bearing on? Oh, well, if you buy good bits, those bearings are expensive. If you buy Chinese bits, well, sure, you could get a package for pretty pretty cheap. But you really want a good bearing on your, on your bits. I typically buy a good bit. I expect a good bearing. But after time, they will go south. And actually, what's only happening is it's carbonizing the grease that's in there. Okay? So there are plenty of companies, unlike this one, who's no longer with us, and unlike this one, who's no longer with us, but there are others, Router Bit Bearing Lubricant online. And don't settle for anything that's a oil. That's not going to work for you. You want something that dries instantly or almost instantly. So when you turn on your router, you're not ruining your project and spraying oil or any type of lubricant all over the place. Here's what I've found. Through these different lubricants, you can make a router bit work like brand new or better because the grease isn't going to be in it anymore. It's going to be a high quality synthetic lubricant, not some sludge they punched, pumped out of the ground and turned into grease. The stuff they put in these cans is designed for high speed operation and it's designed for high load and heat, unlike the grease that was put in the bearings. So I can show you a test so you guys will be believers quickly. Let's have a look. Now I've chucked that bad bit in this drill just by the bearing and you can see how stiff it just doesn't want to turn. It's very notchy. Now all we have to do, I'll do this right on camera in real time. Now again, Quality Aerosols was one company who makes this stuff. I'm going to make sure this is in camera here. You're just going to spray on just a little bit to sit on top of that bearing. And then attempt to work it in a little bit. It probably won't be easy, but it's already loosening up really fast. The stuff works incredibly well. And I mean, it's magic in a can. I truly mean it. I'm not pulling anybody's leg, trying to pull a fast one. These companies are out of business. I'm not trying to support them. This truly works, and that's why I'm sharing it. And right in front of your eyes, that bearing is screaming. That's crazy. That fast from salt just ruined. It, uh, the nuts touching my hand. All right, here we'll show you how this works. Now we'll turn this on and watch the bit when we stop the thing. That's uh, too sideways too much. Look at this. free now perfectly free and now there's really good lubricant in there and the lubricant that was in there is now dissolved a little bit and it is helping also and you now have a perfectly free bearing that's good yet and you're not going to replace it with Chinese landfill which you'll be replacing again and again and again and again I advise get your good bearings to work for you or buy really good bearings that are truly sealed from companies. They are screaming expensive though, folks. I will tell you that right now because I buy them for my RC cars. You buy a good bearing, you're going to know you bought a good bearing. They are very expensive. You guys let me know what you think. Again, find any good or any router bearing lubricant and they'll all say on them it frees up frozen bearings. That's the kind of stuff you want to read on the can. And I'm telling you right now, it'll revitalize any bearing. I've been using this stuff for decades. I'm so happy with it. It's pathetic and that's why I'm doing the video for you guys. Take care. Let me know what you think.